Most of our situations, FIDH is already in the field and is working. And uh, the presence that they have in the field is very consistent. It's there for a long time. So um, it is important for us that we have this continuous interaction with, with FIDH. We have been able to, um, through FIDH, um, advance most of our investigations uh, because of the support that they give us on the ground. Uh, also, with respect to some contacts that we sometimes need, they have been very helpful in giving this uh, level of contact. I know that FIDH works also with the victims in their in your own right uh, as as a, as a civil society organization. You work with the with the victims, so this has also, in a way, been useful for the interaction that we will eventually as an institution prosecuting these crimes have with those victims. So I uh, am really grateful for the support that FIDH has been given to my office, as I said in particular, but also to the ICC generally, because I do know that with respect to the registry, with respect to the Victims and Witnesses Unit, uh, with respect to the Trust Fund for Victims, they have been very, very helpful and very supportive. We have um, had several challenges regarding outreach, for instance, outreach to the communities, outreach for, for them understanding what the ICC is about, what these institutions are, trying to see how best we can manage the expectations of, uh, of people who don't necessarily understand uh, the institution. In that regard, I believe NGOs can play a big role there. In, in helping to sensitize the, the um, communities, in sensitize the, especially the affected communities as to really what this institution is, what can be expected from this institution, and what cannot be expected from this institution. We are a judicial institution. We, are a, a, we have been mandated to investigate and prosecute crimes, and this is where our, our role is. But we need the partners. We need the partners, and those partners are not only the state's parties who have ratified the Rome Statute, it's also civil society. You know the role that civil society has played in even getting this court established. You know the role that civil society continues to play in ensuring that there are more ratifications, for instance, of the statute, in ensuring that the Office of the Prosecutor's work is facilitated on the ground, in ensuring that the registry is assisted. We are partners. We are partners and uh, we respect each other's mandate, but we also understand each other's mandate. We know the limitations where we can um, uh, start and where we can stop, but also we know how we can support each other in the field. From time to time, I believe it is necessary to sit and have a dialogue to see where we are and to see what is going to be useful to do or to continue to do and what is not. And uh, that is why I welcome uh, occasions like this when I'm able to have these exchanges with, uh, for in this instance, uh, FIDH to, to assist the work of the court. <laughs>